Hmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Legend of Andor. We are in Legend 3, doing The Darkness Descends. And we had a few errors in the last game I want to go over. For starters, this guy killed two Gores, and we forgot to take a reward. So we're actually going to take two gold. And that's just fixing that up. Also, see this thing here, right? There was a, a water skin in this location. Now, if I come down here, we dropped the herb because we had two peasants. But peasants, I've come to realize, aren't actually items. They're sort of like allies that you're escorting. So you, you place them up here or even on the map. They don't take inventory slots, which is the important bit. So we didn't need to drop this herb. So I'm just going to pick that back up. And finally, there was a quite a large error I did. Basically, there was this token came out that says gores occupying 16 to 36 move but i moved the gore that was in nine and what that means is at the end of the turn we were threatened by two gores one in seven and one in four and i killed them both and that had a good effect as in it allowed us to complete the the hunter's fate card but on the bad side, it completely really accelerated the game in a bad way. It actually was a really bad for us, that mistake. It made it a lot harder. Basically, what that meant is, see, we killed a monster, it goes to here. We kill a second monster, it goes to here. But we were required to kill a third monster or lose one of our shields. So I killed another one and sent me to D, which released more gores and... You know, it just wasn't good. And because it released more gores, and this one, the one that goes to 15, it got moved during the sunrise phase. It's now threatening the castle for this round. So if that wasn't bad enough, also, we lost a usage of the prince. So the prince is here, but when the, when the token gets to the star token up here, the prince goes away. So what this means now is that we have one kill before the prince leaves. So if we want to use this ability, and we didn't use this ability at all yesterday because you can't, we had a, the guys that did all the killing, like say this dude, his fake card requires him to fight alone and fighting with the prince does not account for fighting alone. So we didn't use the prince last turn and now we've only got one kill until he goes away, which means that we have to use him if I want to be efficient, I think, I have to use him to kill one of the trolls. Even though we're in a position, there's a, a gore threatening the castle right here next to the archer. I'm in a position to kill with that. But, you know, if I do that, the prince disappears. We lose four strength versus the nasty troll. So it's a really bad position. So even worse is uh, we just lose a day. Like, so if we didn't make that mistake, we would have been here. And then this would have moved during the time track. So we'd have an extra extra time to do killing and moving. Plus this this stuff wouldn't even be spawned yet. And this stuff wouldn't have moved. So it was a, a horrific mistake that's really sped up the entire game. But anyway, so we're going to try and kill a troll. Uh, we do need to kill this scroll, But the centaur needs to kill it alone as part of her fate card. But she really needs to get more strength before she can even attempt it anyway. So it's not really an issue. So we're going to try and kill a troll. So I'm thinking killing this troll here because he takes one, two, three to get in. This guy takes one, two, three, four. And this guy will just let in. But that's, uh, that's actually quite a distance away because that's another thing. Oh, the uh, This guy's fake card requires us to find the witch and we still haven't found the witch. So I'm probably going to have to invest in buying a set of glasses, you know, like a, a telescope or something, because if we don't find that witch like this turn or early this turn, we are screwed. Yeah, okay. I've been doing some thinking, and I think I'm actually going to kill this troll up here because we'll still have three turns and four turns for the other guys to get in. But if you actually look at this area... From the castle, meow, all the way down like this. This is like a furrow there. This, this track is very, very fast. Like already, 
uh, we're going to have move there, move there, move there, and then it's full. So if anything spawns, you know, because we will get a spawn from this uh, thing over here after our first kill, we're in a position where it's almost ready for people to start charging the castle. So killing things in that sort of, in this, where this blue line is, is actually really good for us. So I think this is the troll we need to kill. This is uh, completed. That's no longer existing. Okay, well, let's get into this. So we're just going to start moving down here and try and get some, you know, so he's got, so she's going to head down to the, uh, whatever it's called, the merchants down here and try and buy some strength. Meanwhile, this guy, she is also going to move down here and flip over this. And that's going to give her one, two, three. She's then going to flip her birdie and transfer the gold. And the these token things. That's one movement for here. Now, the white's going to just follow in the footsteps of brown for most of this turn. Blue, on the other hand, is heading up to Elfland, where we're going to collect this star token and the shield. And we're going to discard both of these peasants. Basically, his fate card says these peasants are getting married, so take them to the tree, and then they live happily ever after in the game box. But on the plus side, we have now completed that fate card. Very cool. And we've only got one coin there, so we can't do anything with that. Brown's turn again. Going to go... Oh, before Brown moves... He's going to trade all these tokens and give them back to you. I think this is the best character to have those tokens on. And then he's just going to go one. Green is now going to go one up here. I like moving in increments. You can move in larger, larger amounts, but I just don't think it's a good idea. Okay, this guy's going to come up through here. He's actually moved twice. I don't know why I didn't move him. And look at this well, which is going to give him another five willpower because he gets extra willpower from wells. And this guy's going to come down into here. And he's now at the merchants. At the merchants, he's going to spend two, four, six. And that's one, two, three strength. Green is going to go one more. And white is already in position. He can already attack with range at that troll. So he's going to use his hour of movement to move the prince. One, two, three. Okay, and this guy, he's going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Takes him to six. And now finally, Brown is going to move one up. And now it's Green's turn, and Green is going to initiate a combat because there is a, a line here, so he is in range. And everybody moves up one slot because they're all participating in this combat 
Okay, so the question is, will we be able to do this? <laughs> so uh, starting with green, green has only three dice. Has to roll them one at a time. Oh, beautiful five, that's nice. Black uh, or white is actually using the runestone die. Come on, big numbers. Yeah. This guy has got four dice. Unfortunately, we do not have the helmet for him. We really need to get him the helmet. See, that would be an eight he would have rolled if, it, if he had the helmet. Helmet allows you to add all similar die faces together. Take the four. And now we have two dice for the center. Four. Okay, so he's only got two dice. Now, obviously four is a little bit more than 50%. Uh, if you roll a one to three, I always roll again if I've got a spare dice. But if, I roll, if I've only got one die left, I've got a four. It's just a lot to risk, I think. So I'm not going to roll again. Okay, so that is four plus five plus ten plus four, which equals 23, plus four for the prince equals 27. Now, we just adjust this a little. Now we just do the strength. So it is one strength plus five strength plus two strength, plus two strength. So that is 27 plus one plus five plus two plus two equals a total of 37. Wow, that is not a particularly great roll. Now, we are fighting a troll who has 14 strength and 12 health, and he's rolling three dice. Don't get doubles. Wow, he gets a straight, but it's only three high straight. Boom. Straights mean nothing, luckily. So that is 17. So we rolled 14, 15, 16, 17, which means we've completely pwned him. We only need 12 to kill him. But we've got 37, so that's like uh, 20, 20 damage, you know. Bam. Well, he's dead. Yoink. So we've killed this bloke. Bam. This thing will now go forward. So the prince is discarded. And this thing gets revealed. Place one scroll in 19, distribute five willpower points among the heroes. Nice. So place another scroll in 19, which is somewhere here. Boom, there's already a guy in there, so it's going to go here. Okay, that's really bad. And distribute five willpower points. So I think... I'm going to go, is it five willpower points? Yeah, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And that way I, I get extra dice on both those characters. Now, the good bit. This guy has six reward. So we have quite a large reward for him. And... I think we're going to give one point to here. So we've got five left. That's giving him two gold so he can buy a helmet. I think I'm going to give him one, two to get him into the next level. That gives us three gold left. So I'm going to take another two gold and another one gold. I might just do that. Okay, so to recap, I took one gold here. So that's one. 
I took two points, so that's three. I took two gold, so that's five. And I took another point of will here, so that's six. So that's the six reward from killing the troll. Okay. Bam. Now let's have a quick look at how the board changed. Basically, the scroll's going to move here, the troll's going to move here, so this guy's going to move in here. So what we still need to do is take out this guy here. So, before he does his turn, he's going to move these tokens back to this bloke, because... We're going to use the, the fancy dice for him to complete his quest. What have we got? One, two, three. So that's one, two. One, two. Blue is at the point where he's going to start losing will. I don't really want to him to lose will. Um, I think he's going to go one, two. And buy the helmet. And that is one, two, three, four. So he's still plus one will from where he started at the beginning of the turn. Okay, Brown's turn. Brown's got two gold. So yeah, he's going to go one down here and buy another strength point. And Green is just going to come into here and start revealing these freaking things because we've got to find that witch. Ah, oh, the witch. Ah, oh, about time. Okay, so we have found the witch. Now, we can't actually use the witch because the witch uh, the witch doesn't give a free potion anymore. So we have to go there with five gold. So there's that. So he's got no gold at the moment. So let me just check that movement. One, two... Three, four, five. Yep, that's right. Okay, so this guy's turn. He has three strength. Oh, wait, this guy actually had three strengths, so he actually did better in that combat. Yeah, so he, I, think, I think he is going to be able to kill this guy by himself. He, oh, no, wait, he doesn't have the... He doesn't have the... So he's got a plus one advantage to the scroll. I think he's just going to wait a turn. Blue is going to pass. Brown is now going to go... What's he got? One point left. So he's just going to go one up to here. I guess he may as well pick this up since he's right there. Oh, he can't pick it up. And green is going to go one, two, like so. Now white's going to attack with green. So that is a negative two. One, two, one, two, and we are attacking with green, gets three dice now again, because we've gone down, oh, six, perfect, and black gets two dice, five, perfect, so that is six plus five plus Two strength plus three strength equals 16. Fighting a gore who only has two strength and four health. No doubles, please. Beautiful. 
So that is a five. That means we have killed the gore. This moves up one more. And we're going to give the two gold to this bloke because he's saving up now for the five gold he needs to complete his quest. Wow, we're doing so badly. Okay, and now everyone's going to pass now, so that's pretty much that. Okay. So blue is the next leader. So let me just quickly fix the hands. So it's now blue, brown, green, white. Yep. Okay, so let's resolve this. First we do the event card. Be good. The beautiful sound of a horn echoes over the countryside. Each hero with fewer than 10 will points increases to 10. Oh, well, he's already at, he's already at 10. This guy, wow, bam, there's a nice, beautiful upgrade. And he's past 10, so didn't really get a lot out of that, but it really makes me wish I spent a lot more time in the night hours. Okay, now we have Gore's move. So we have one Gore move to here. And we have one Gore move to here that I keep forgetting about. And now we have the Skrulls move. So we have this guy move, this guy move, this guy move. Then we have the Ogre's move. So we have this guy move to here. And this guy moved to here. So we're still really... Oh yeah, and we have the, the cat move, of course. Which comes to here. So. That'd be the end of that. And we untap the wells. Okay, so we now have a straight run. All the way to the end. And we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six kills. So, this guy's getting in next turn. We still have to kill this guy. So, I probably need to kill two people next turn minimum, which will take me to I, and then the next turn will take me to J. So yeah, we're not we're, we're making it pretty tight. So glad we found the witch though. If she was over here, we would have lost the game probably. And we still might losing that day because of that turn error really really screwed me over. Why did I move him here? I should have supposed to move him here. There we are. Okay, well that is the end of my turn. I will see you guys next time.